Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Amir Hamza today I'm gonna show you how you can combine your Android app with GDPR so let me tell you first thing first I'm not uh, any uh, lawyer I'm not giving you any legal advice I'm app developer like you in fact I have a research about this topic uh, I think last day so I do not know much thing about it but I know something so I, I want to share about this so if uh, your app is affected by GDPR and you using AdMob and some um, some kind of advertisement in your app, you have to include privacy privacy uh, so policy privacy URL in your Google Developer Console. So uh, let me show you an example why I do I need uh, to include privacy policy URL and why you should if you are uh, getting user info personal information like user email uh, user name something like that. So this is my audio book app so the very simple app so when users send uh, try to send me a feed feedback so I collect some useful information about uh, user the system logs and uh, system formation if I click on system formation you can see I am trying to getting an app version and specifically uh, user and device model and name and his time zone etc so uh, in a few log seen logs so I getting some logs about uh, the user device so user device ID etc so this kind of uh, is information is uh, under the personal information so when user going to send me email I also collect the, uh, um, collect the email and username so I have to tell Google uh, so user before uh, users how so how I can use this information uh, in my uh, system so I will make so, so user will make sure their information is not in wrong hands so I found this very useful app is called app privacy policy generator basically very uh, useful and very uh, simple a website which allow to generate your privacy policy uh, content in within few seconds so my you have to tell your app name my app name is basically a audiobook app so I'm gonna quickly copy the app name and I'm put the link in description you can copy this link and generate your privacy for uh, policy privacy URL so do you have to tell what kind of services you are using? I'm using AdMob. I'm using Cat Crashlytics. Also, it's called uh, Firebase uh, Crash Reporting. I'm using Firebase Analytics. And choose your type. Um, my type is Ad Spotted. I am uh, so in this type. I'm gonna call myself individual. So you have to specify your name. You can also specify your company name. If I want the company name, so I have to put my company name like Alpha PK. Alpha PK. This is my developer account name. So what kind of personal information I'm getting? In this case, I'm getting system logs, system information, like device, SDK, app version, language, time zone, memory, and uh, data type device name SDK yeah, version and time zone data type device type sorry so before we proceed let me I can give you a quick overview what is a personal information is called anything is identified as individual is called personal information so SDK maybe not but the device name and device type maybe this is called identify so email and user 
name. Now you have to generate. You have to read, read all about this. Uh, blah 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 blah. If you think this is not uh, according to, you have to remove something. So in my case, I'm not uh, getting any cookies. So I will remove this uh, from my final privacy URL. So now copy this all and now make a free blogspot. If you do not know about blogspot, go ahead and learn a blogger. I'm gonna make a free, free blog. Log into your blogger. If you do not have it and create one, you are an Android developer, you can create within few seconds. So make a new post. This is just a way to get a free website. So you do not need any website post uh, your privacy uh, links. So I'm not, not uh, getting any cookies. Yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, log information. Uh, in my case, I'm getting logs information, log data. So whenever uh, you send me a logs, so we want information that we want servers in Nankavis here, blah, 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 blah. And logs, data, include information such as device name and protocols, device name, operating systems, so configuration, utilized services, and time, data, etc. These type of, these type of data, basically. So basically, this, this one is important. When you are using any Firebase analytics or Firebase crash reporting, you may get access to information uh, like GPS coordinates, etc. So I'm gonna make give a name privacy privacy for audio book i'm gonna publish it now you have to include this url in your app also if you want but make sure you have include this url in your google developer console so i'm gonna view this post and i'm going to go to my developer account in, inside the store preferences store listing and may give a privacy policy URL and submit update so this uh, this time we have a successfully submitted our privacy policy so the, for last thing if you want to include your privacy policy I'm gonna include inside navigation drawer maybe here uh, like the user can read easily about privacy policies so I'm um, paste um, web, web view or user chrome custom tab to include this URL in my app thanks guys for watching if you have any question let me know in comment box I will reply as soon as possible